Hey, what's up, guys? I'm up to the video. Uh, so before we jump into today's video, I would just say I hope you enjoyed the last video I posted for you guys about the regional XC meet recap. Uh, I hope you enjoyed listening what happened to me before, during, and after the race, um, how I did, and uh, the little mishap that happened during that race. Um, as I said to you guys in, in that video, it was not my finest moment, but I'm glad I posted that for you guys, and uh, you guys got to hear about it, and um, yeah, it was all good. Uh, yeah, so that's probably going to do that for this first part of the intro, and now let's jump right into our second part of the intro, uh, the topic for today's video. Uh, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, the Feaster 5 Thanksgiving Road Race. Um, so this road race is put on by actually Dave McGillery. Um, most of you probably know he is the uh, organizer for the Boston Marathon. Uh, so he put he and his team put on this race, or he and his company, and uh, it's a really great race. I've been doing this every single year since I was probably five or six, most likely, maybe seven. I don't know, but I've been doing this for over three years now, or at least over two. Yeah, maybe three, but I can't remember. Um, I will. Prob I will try to get that to you guys uh, in the next video. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, we will be talking about what happened before, during, and after the race. And um, how my teammates how my teammates did. Because uh, we went, um, we ran this race with Haley and Brooklyn and their family. And uh, my teammate Jonas was actually there, which I was surprised. And his uh, brother Charlie. Uh, yeah, so that's probably going to do it up for this first part of the intro, and now let's jump right into our first block of the video, the Before the Race block. Alright guys, in this first block of the video, we're going to be talking about what happened before the race. Uh, so before the race, um, as I told you before, guys, before every single race uh, recap uh, or preview I have, um, I woke up that morning, uh, got dressed, ate my breakfast, and um, this morning was a little bit different. It wasn't really a race type scenario. Um, this was more of just like a fun run for Thanksgiving. It wasn't a meet. Um, it wasn't anything run by USATF. So it was just uh, a fun run that we used to uh, kick off the Thanksgiving day or the morning. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. Uh, so we got there around 7.45, and um, the race started at 8.30, so it wasn't like a meet where we get there like three hours in advance and I have to wait around a long time. It was actually better because I hate waiting around. Uh, it gives me the real, it gives me the nerves uh, that I don't want to have. So I'm glad, I'm actually kind of glad we got there only 45 minutes early, and uh, we weren't really standing around that much. So uh, I didn't really, it didn't really give me much time to think about anything. Um, maybe for five, ten minutes that I have the nerves, but not for, like, the, the three hours or four hours, uh, upwards that I normally have to meet. Uh, a track meet that, like, a cross-country or track meet that I, I'm standing around for, like, hours and hours on end. Uh, yeah, so, we got there, we picked up our numbers, we didn't have time to get t-shirts, but, uh, we got a, a buff, uh, and then we put our numbers on, went outside, um, did some warm-ups because, um, just even, I wanted to just get a little bit of warm-up in, so to my dad, he told me it was a good idea, so me and my sister did some A skips, B skips, high knees, um, butt kicks, and then we did, a f like, four stride outs, I think, uh, yeah, about four stride outs, and then, um, we headed over to the starting line, uh, so we were not running together, because me and my dad, my dad and my sister, uh, were gonna run together, and I was just slightly faster, so, uh, we put me up with, um, the seven minute pace group for the 5k and there was a 5k and a five miler but we we're gonna stick to the 5k just because uh we it's the speed that we need for kentucky uh but they put me up at the seven minute pace uh and they went back to the 10 minute pace um so before my dad left he just told me basically uh go on feel completely uh i had three i had actually had four hard days because it was uh the cross country meet regionals um was sunday Hard workout with Kimmy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so that's already four days, and now uh, it's the fifth day, and he basically just said, go off feel, if you're feeling it, go, if you're not feeling it, that's fine, just stay back, do whatever you need to do, uh, but just listen to your body, basically, he said, um, so that's pretty much what I did, um, yeah, but I found my teammate Jonas on the line, um, as I was having those pre-race nerves, uh, he kind of took those nerves off me, uh, just by seeing him and his mom and his brother, uh, and yeah, that was really fun. Um, yeah, so that's probably gonna do it up for this first block of the video, and, uh, now let's move on to our second block of the video, the during the race block. 
All right, guys, in the second block of the video, we're going to be talking about what happened during the race. Uh, so, as I told you in the last block, um, I did have the pre-race nerves a little bit, and um, it was just go by feel, and um, it was really great to see my teammate. I also saw my teammate, Xavier, um, and I took a picture with him, and we talked a little bit, and then uh, we didn't have much time to talk to any of these guys, but at the finish line, we have much more, so I'll tell you about that later uh, in the next block. Uh, but, yeah, so they basically blew the gun, and we were gone. Um, so the first probably minute was me basically just trying to swarm swarm around people and get out into uh, where I could find clear ground because I probably um, it it was probably not as great of an idea to start back since I just I couldn't really go anywhere because I was kind of stuck. So basically I had to like squeeze through gaps and it was like I just slipped slipped through gaps sometimes. Uh, or just slid through them. So, uh, yeah, it was hard for the first minute. But once I got out of those gaps, then I really started to um, just try to open up my stride and um, just go by my, how my body felt. Uh, so, basically, you went straight up a little bump, down a hill, and then you went straight into a gigantic hill that was probably about a little less than a quarter mile long, close to a quarter mile long, probably. And um, at least 200 meters, but maybe cl closer to uh, 400. Uh, yeah, so then once you got up to the top, um, you round. Well, first of all, the five mile kept going straight to on the right. The five mile kept going straight. And then on the left, the 5K took a turn. And then, um, what? yeah, the 5K took a turn. And then you went um, flat and down a hill. So basically, uh, I was just trying to, um, at this point, I kind of I wanted it to be a fast race at this point so basically I just tried to get up there and um do my best to uh fight my way through this 5k um but yeah so I went through um I I didn't see the one mile marker and I was concerned because I was thinking like oh god how far away is one mile now uh I actually did miss it on the top of the hill um, it was right there on the top, but I think it was on the five mile side and I wasn't paying attention to it. So I missed that, but, um, you went flat, but yeah, so you went, turn the corner flat down a hill and then it kind of flattened out the entire way from there. Uh, so as we were going down that flat street, uh, I passed a few more people. Um, I actually, uh, saw impact. I actually saw him pass Xavier, um, and he was cheering me on, and I was, I didn't say anything to him, but I was cheering him on in my head. I was cheering really everyone on in my head. I just wasn't, I don't typically say much during my races, uh, but yeah, so I'm cheering everyone on in my head, but other than that, um, yeah, so I saw the two mile marker, and I'm like, oh, thank God, I'm only a mile away. Um, but yeah, so that was kind of a relieving feeling for me. Especially since I only knew, especially since I knew I was only two miles away, or a mile away from the finish line, and then uh, once you kept going straight, you went over a few more bumps, um, not many though, and then uh, you round a corner and you went all the way down. And when I say all the way down, I mean all the way down. It was probably about a half mile just straight down the road. And you thought once you turned that corner, you were going straight up that hill. No, you were going all the way down. So you went straight, you went under a bridge, and then you came up a mini hill, and then it was straight, and then you turn a right, and uh, once you turn that right, you have a long, gradual hill up, and once you finish that long, gradual hill, you turn um, a right again, and there's the finish line right there. Uh, so the fan support was really impressive, as of uh, the and in as as well as the Attleboro meet. Uh, or like it. The fan support was great. Uh, I loved it. And it was really great um, support to get from the fans just to be out there and support us on this, by the way, really cold day. Um, for those of you who know, Thanksgiving was freezing. So uh, I was grateful for everyone to come out. Uh, yeah, so that's probably all I have to say for this during the race block. And now let's move on to our after the, uh, yeah, let's move on to our after the, uh, Final block of the video, the after the race. All right, guys, in this final block of the video, we're going to be talking about uh, what happened after the race. Uh, so once I crossed the uh, finish line, I did see the time. It was um, on the clock, so unofficially, uh, it was 18.06, and I was um, I was pretty impressed with that time. Um, and I crossed the line. I found my mom, and um, I told her how the race went, how the course was. 
we uh i grabbed a water and um for the instead of getting you a medal they give you a pie so uh that's why i have no medal to show you guys but i uh, will post a picture of the results or my results and the pie at the end of this video uh so tune in for that uh or stick around for that at the end of this video uh but yeah so basically after i finished um i put on my coat my pants to stay warm my hat and my gloves and um yeah we watched everyone come in uh, we saw my sister in Brooklyn and my dad come in. Um, we saw uh, Brooklyn and Haley's dad and their sister Addison come in. And uh, we didn't see Haley come in yet. And um, what was odd is we were expecting to see Haley come in um, way before both of them. Or not way before, but like before both of them. And we found out that um well, we predicted that Haley took the she was supposed to run the 5k she took the five mile route um and i don't blame her it was really easy to get lost in this race especially since she had no one to like guide her because um taking that veer you don't know so if you're not paying attention to the signs you don't know where that uh turn is going to take you so yeah she actually went the five mile route and uh ran an, an an amazing time for it by the way um so shout out to her for not losing her uh composure or focus uh in going that route because uh, mo uh most people and even me i would get freaked out and be like what is what am i doing uh where am i and uh she didn't so shout out to her for that uh but yeah so we she crossed the line into like 53 something and uh it was it was insane and she told us she took the five uh mile route and she realized that eventually like why i'm not she she eventually realized like i'm not there yet i'm i why am i why is the clock reading 53 minutes and like why is everyone else done and then she realized it and everything else um but yeah so other than that it was uh, a really fun day um, I talked to Xavier and Jonas afterward, congratulated them, they congratulated me, and, um, yeah, so it was all around a really fun day for all of us. Um, I really enjoyed everyone coming out today, and, uh, to everyone who ran this race, uh, shout out to you all, because it was freezing, and it was, um, not enjoy, not exactly the most enjoyable weather to run in. Um, so, congratulations to everyone who ran this race, completed it, and, uh, attempted it. Uh, yeah, guys, so that's probably going to do it up for this uh, final block of the video, and that's probably going to wrap it up for our video today. All right, guys, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about what happened uh, before, during, and after the race, uh, how my teammates, Haley Brooklyn, uh, and their family, Jonas, and his mom, and Xavier did. Uh, it was really great to see all of them again, and um, I was happy to run this race with them. Uh, yeah, um, so stick around for today's quote. I know you guys are gonna love it, and uh, I'll stick around for the pie and result pictures. Um, the pie one's pretty good, and so are the result ones. So, yeah, uh, I will also be posting, um, I will also post, um, Catherine and my, Catherine's results, Haley's results, Brooklyn's results, uh, Jonas's and Xavier's results. Um, so stick around for their results as well. Um, and I, I will actually I'm gonna post all of their results uh, at the end so stick around for them uh, yeah guys that's probably gonna do it up for this uh, video today and I will see you guys in the next one peace out guys